In this episode of Diary of a Puzzle Gamer, I'm going to tell you about the Battle of Kalpens. It is a 1000 pieces puzzle published by Black Cat Puzzles, a new publisher that apparently will uh, specialize in military subjects. And that is very exciting to me because I like military history, I play war games, historical war games especially, and I love jigsaw puzzles, but you do not have many puzzles with uh, military subjects. I did some in the past and I reviewed them, but it just wasn't easy to find them. Um, from my experience of being an administrator for a, a group on Facebook for, for jigsaw puzzles enthusiasts, I can tell you that simply is a statistical fact at least 90% of committed puzzlers are women over the age of 30. And I guess there is a perception from the publishers that maybe they won't be interested in military subjects. I don't know what the reason for the scarcity of puzzles on the subject is, but I'm glad that the curse is reversed. So, when the publisher contacted me, asked me if I wanted to try one of their puzzles, if I wanted a review copy, I was happy to say yes, because the puzzle was interesting, the subject was interesting, and they also promised we're going to have really high production values, we're going to be um, as good as pomegranate in terms of production. And I was very excited about that, because to me pomegranate is one of the highest standards in the industry for jigsaw puzzles. And I'm happy to report this puzzle is production wise quality, the kind of quality, high quality that you can expect from pomegranate. Really nice looking pieces, um, nice and thick, sharp edges, really nice connections, interesting cuts. Uh, all the pieces will meet at the corner as you see. Uh, but they, they fit well. They, it's one of those puzzles that it's a pleasure to rub. Uh, so let me show it to you. Battle of Cowpants, the moment you see here is an American attack against British forces. Let's take a closer look. Well, first let's take a bigger general look at the puzzle in all of its glory. The image is sharp and nice. There is a light glossy finish to it but not to the point that you can't enjoy the puzzle. I, I saw puzzles in the past where it was so glossy you could barely see the image behind it. And you see a little bit of reflection here and there from the lights that I have on the ceiling but not too much really. As you're sitting at the table looking at the puzzle you barely see that part. And again, as I said, it's nice thick pieces. As you can see, the fit is pretty strong. And the details, just a high quality image. And again, what I really like is the variety of the cuts. The shapes are all, you know, vaguely square slash rectangular because all pieces meet uh, the edges. So they all connect uh, on the four edges, but just look at the variety within that general idea. So many different proportions, so many different shapes, so many different connectors. And it's really, I like that because, well, it just gives you enough clues to get a sense of where each piece may connect. The connections are unique enough that you're not going to have two puzzles that look like they perfectly fit in terms of connection and then they are not right. You're going to know immediately when you put two pieces next to each other if they are the correct ones or not. The image again is high quality, it's detailed, it's colorful. Uh, the subject, well if you're interested in military history then it will be interesting to you. As for the difficulty, it's tough. This is a tough puzzle. The box says difficulty 6 out of 10. I don't know how they measure that. Nor do I know my measuring is like easy 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10 for 8,000 piece puzzles. I gotta tell you, it's if I was solving a puzzle that was just abstract art, probably I would have felt it was just as hard. Sure, you can divide it basically into mini puzzles that just based on color you will be able to separate this area 
from this area then after a while they look at the pieces intently then you'll be able to tell the difference between that kind of dark color and that kind of dark color but this this is a blob this is just a single i think it was just all the same color maybe it would be a little easier because then nothing would be misleading uh very very difficult the overall image looks really nice but from the point of view of solving it's almost like you're three extra puzzles one here one here and one up there the british the english for some reason they're easy to tell apart there's just a certain pattern there that is easy to separate from the rest but these are the three mini puzzles so to speak they are pretty tough again on the on the plus side the good news is that they're probably about 300 pieces each so not crazy but I'm not saying it's crazy, I'm saying it's crazy, it's it's hard, it was a tough puzzle, but then, but then you have a pretty impressive image that, that is dramatic, that is lively, it's full of energy, dynamism, it's just a really good image, and of course you could buy a poster with it, but it's a lot more fun if you build the image as a puzzle. I really enjoy playing with this puzzle, solving this puzzle is the right kind of challenge, the right kind of hard. It's tough, but it feels fair. Again, with connections that are different from one another, they give you clues. It's just all the right kind of, of hard and tough. I definitely enjoy this puzzle. It was exactly what was promised in terms of quality and production. I'm really impressed with that. So. I'm curious now to see what other puzzles, black cat puzzles, gonna come up with because I was very, very pleased with this one. It was fun to play with it, tough, but really fair, and the final result to me is also very impressive.